Hi guys. Happy Thursday. It's a new time slot. Get excited. Maybe some new people will be here. Maybe some people who couldn't make it before. <gasps> Pins and needs. Also, starting at 7.30 because I had a therapy session at 6 and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to give myself some time. <laughs> a Zoom therapy session. Uh, and so here we are. So I'm thinking actually I might try to keep this. We'll see how it goes. But like some people on the West Coast are like, it's super early when I start at um, 7. I think we're going to keep it on Thursdays. We're going to make it Mondays and Thursdays. Ooh, wow. My eyes look really sunken in and dark. Mmm, lovely. Just the way I like them. Um, Ashley A is here. Okay, I'm going to come back to her in a second. Um, and also, I think Monday and Thursday is good because there's just more time in between. You know what I mean? Like, we'll have more things to talk about. Maybe. I don't know. I'm probably just pulling that out of my ass. Um, I'm scrolling up and just going to name off some 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 people who are here jerry morrison lindsay kadu ali dupes oh is this a new person hi ryan k lauren boylas patricia goodwin heather willis lisa 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 letty reyna Ari Ariane Fowler. Yes, she's so excited for cheap ass makeup. Okay, so I saw some people. Oh, so, oh, Ariane just became a member of the Good Job Gang. Welcome. Okay, so you probably noticed, or maybe you didn't, but I'll tell you anyway. I thought that my Raw Beauty Christie and ColourPop products were coming today, and I was so excited. I swear, I swear, unless I clicked on the wrong <laughs> shipping information, it said it was delivered and I peed my pants. And I was like, yes. So then I go and pick up my packages and there is no color pop to be found. I was like crazed in UPS, just like looking up the shipping notification. I don't know if I lost my mind or like at one point it said it was delivered and now it doesn't. I don't know what happened, but apparently it's not supposed to come for a few days. <sighs> Thanks. Thanks a lot, ColourPop. Your shipping sucks ass. So anyway, I scrambled and <laughs> I came up with something else. It wasn't, it wasn't too hard. I thought, you know what, we're constantly, I'm constantly using, you know, higher end products. Let's do something for the cheap asses like CC. CC needs things too. You know what I mean? Like we can't all just be like laying down the dollars, like making it rain. So I thought this would be helpful. Um, I tried to, I'm very, I feel, I'm feeling very much in the Christmas spirit. I've decorated the Christmas tree already. Um, I looked for a Christmassy head wrap. I don't have any. I need to invest in some. Um, so I'm just checking the comments here. Okay, so Ashley A, I have to show you. No, Ashley, that's not, don't worry. I picked this up the other day. So I opened this package from Ashley A and Ashley, do you want me to read the note or not? It's okay if you, do you want me to? Waiting, waiting. Sure, she says, okay. So she said, Kate, thank you so much for providing so much. Look at how nice her penmanship is. That's nice. Thank you so much for providing so much joy and fellowship through your live streams. Watching and participating is truly like hanging out with a girlfriend. Ugh. That community um, and shared interest represents the very best of what YouTube can be. Wow, that 
so nice. I also want to thank you for being so gracious to mention my content. My pleasure. You did not have to do that. It meant the world to me to just know you enjoyed some of my content. I hope that when COVID is over, we can have a happy hour drink or six. <gasps> a woman after my own heart. So thank you so much to Ashley, but I have to show you what, what's inside the box. I honestly teared up when I opened it. Like, so it's in this little linen bag. And look at that. Oh, it's actually showing up quite well in the light. That is the beautiful embossed C on this bag. Isn't that gorgeous? And then inside the bag, inside this bag, it's a flask with my name on it engraved. Isn't that nice? Honestly, it brought me to tears. Thank you so much to Ashley. Just so thoughtful. Please tell me where you had this done. It's just beautiful. I needed like a nice, I mean, I have a lot of stupid makeup cases, but this is so gorgeous. This is officially my new trap. If I ever travel anywhere, again, <laughs> this is my new travel case. Thank you so much. Oh, Etsy, she got it on Etsy. It's just beautiful. Thank you so much, Ashley. You're an actual angel person. If you don't follow Ashley A, if you don't subscribe to her on YouTube, do it now, right now, okay? She's she's a pleasure. I know, Randy's sneezing in there. Are you okay? I, I'm, I've got quite a sneezing thing. Great, okay. There might be a couple more coming. Um, Anyway, thank you so much to Ashley and please go subscribe to her on YouTube and uh, follow her on Instagram. And she's also just got like an angel face. She is just, she's an angel all around. Um, okay, so Jerry Morrison is asking, how was Randy's birthday? We had the, well, let me tell you what I'm drinking first. I think it's the same as last time. I'm making my way through my absolute vanilla mixed with Hal's vanilla cream seltzer. It's very tasty. Lisa Blant said Ashley has a great voice too. Like a speaking voice? Yes, she does. Wait, does she sing? What do you mean? Mmm. Um, what was I saying? Oh, Randy's birthday. So Randy's birthday. <laughs> no, she does not sing. Okay, got it. I think you're, she was speaking of your, your speaking voice, just your tone. Okay, understood. Yes, agreed. So yesterday was Randy's 38th birthday. We're not here to hide our ages. We're here to just shout it from the mountaintops. Um, and we went to a fantastic restaurant. I think I've talked about it before. It's one of our favorites. It's in the East Village. It's called Cathedral. Don't worry, I vlogged it. The vlog, I swear it's coming out sometime soon. <laughs> it's gonna cover so much. It's gonna cover like Halloween, election day, Randy's birthday, going out with one of my best friends. It's, it's gonna be a ton of fun when it comes out, when I, when I get it together. Um, so we had a great time. We had like all the food and all the drinks. We had two bottles of wine. Um, they made us special shots on the house. They were mezcal, pineapple, and some sort of like a, like a, like a fall spice, right? It was tequila. It was like, it was tequila, oh. pineapple, cinnamon, and I'm not sure what else. Oh, well, that's why we were so drunk. Got it. And then wine. <laughs> it was really fun. But, uh, like one of their, like, if you go to this place called Cathedral, you have to get, get ready. Have I talked about it before? The potato chip omelet. I'm sorry. Saliva just burst out of my saliva glands. It's so good. As you, you know, as you might have guessed, there are potato chips involved. And it is the fluffiest omelet. Now, I'm not a huge omelet person because... Sometimes they're just too eggy and it's just, no, not this omelet. It's flurfy and it has creme fraiche, I'm sorry, and um, K 
caviar on top. And it is just, oh my God. It's one of my favorite things ever. Um, yes, I did. So if there was ever a reason for you to follow me on Instagram, now's the time because I did post um, a birthday tribute post to Randy and you can see him. He does have a face, he has a head attached to his body. Um, so if you haven't followed me on Instagram, you definitely should, so you can see that. Um, I'm trying to, th Wait, I'm just scrolling through the comments here. Someone just commented, there are lots of comments on it, lots of really, really sweet comments wishing him, him a happy birthday. Someone just commented, I believe the name is Countess of Bling. So if you're here, I'm talking about you. And said that we look alike, that we have the same features. No. <laughs> we don't have one feature that's similar. What? But thank you. That's, I mean, okay. <laughs> I love how that's like supposed to be a compliment. Like, you guys look exactly the same too. No, that's, you've gone too far now. See, like it just, that wasn't, no one wants to, I mean, even, it doesn't matter what the person looks like. You don't want to look like your partner. Like, so then we look like siblings? Like that's super creepy. Please no, please no. Um, <laughs> Momo Kitty, strongly disagree. <laughs> um. Yeah, it was weird. It was weird. I, I think they meant it as a compliment, but. Oh, Ayana said, with all due respect, Randy's eye color is my favorite eye color. Yes, he has beautiful eyes. They're like, it's, I don't see it very often. It's like a very, very light green, like a light sort of see-through-ish green. Um... Okay. Okay. So, wow, sorry, so many comments. Um, we both have smooth skin, Karen said. Thank you. That's nice. Ashley A, Randy's eyes are definitely the color of sea glass. Oh, that's a good description. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna jump into so what I decided to do last minute because my color color pop didn't show up and I'm really upset about it. Um, I decided to do an easy holiday look, which yes, I'm sorry to Ryan K and Ron, but it is going to involve a red lip with affordable makeup. Okay, so that's what we're doing. So we're just gonna start right in. Um. Let me zoom in a little bit here. Actually, Ashley A just put out a video recently and I feel like this is very similar to the look she was wearing because weren't you wearing like a red lip but with just like a very simple eye? That's what we're going for, okay? Um, okay, so I haven't pulled this out in a hot minute but this is my Good Molecules Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. Oh, okay, so there are already 212 people here. I'm gonna do my spielio. Give it a thumbs up. If you could, thumbs us up. These are the ways you can help, okay? If you're interested in helping, great. If you're not, rude. So you can thumbs it up, it costs you nothing, and you basically have to take your fat little finger and just tap on the thumbs up button. Also, please do the same with your finger and subscribe. Put it on the subscribe button and push down. Also, with the notification bell, do the same thing. Also, other options. What are they? <laughs> Super Chat. Super Chat is always located at the bottom of the chat. You can send a donation. You can send delightful GIFs. All these things are options. You can also, instead of sending your donation through the Super Chat, 
although we do love a super chat because they're brightly colored, you can also send it through my Venmo PayPal, which is located in the description box. And Randy will put it in the chat right now. These are the options you have. You can literally do none of those things. You could. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. All right. Now we're going to get into it. Going in with the Good Molecules Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer formulated with shea butter, macadamia seed oil, and a plant-derived silicone alternative to deeply hydrate, smooth, and nourish the skin. Okay. I do love this primer. Guys, I am feeling super dry for two reasons. One, it's cold here. Guess what? Guess who's not complaining? This gal, because I love cold weather. I love going out. And did I say, I said silicone, silicone free, right? I didn't say silicone, just making sure. This is a silicone free primer. Um, so I went on a brisk walk. Um, so that was lovely, but I am finding that my skin is a lot drier because obviously I'm walking outside and my skin is getting kind of chapped. So this is a primer, but it's also skincare-ish. Okay. Ryan K. Kate, have you seen the House of Siage Disney collection? Yes, I saw Michelle Wong um, unbox it, which I enjoyed. Um... I don't need any more Disney shit around, okay? Like, <laughs> I just, I can't with that. But I'm sure it'll be very popular. In fact, I don't need any any shit around. Um, Anna Marie, I, oh my God, I'm late. I was watching videos of Rudy Giuliani's face melting. Okay, so Randy showed me that today. And I have to say, as much as I can't stand Rudy Giuliani or his gargoyle face, I really felt for him because if you've been around here for a while, do you remember when I colored my hair purple with a semi-permanent um, Arctic Fox hair color? And it was like right before a live stream and I started sweating my ass off and then the purple started dripping down. Okay, so listen, I've been there. I've been there. <laughs> it's not fun. You're also not the personal attorney to the president of the United States. That's true. I am not the personal attorney who looks like a gargoyle to the president of the United States who's spreading lies. But still, I don't know what my point is there. I'm just saying I could relate. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going in with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation, one of my most favorite foundations that exists period. <laughs> Chantal said, but that was in the summer. Fair. Fair. But listen, I wouldn't put it past me to sweat like that in the winter, okay? It's happened here in New York City. It probably will happen. Get ready. Okay, I think this is a little, I think we're a little blown out here. Let me turn this down. Um, we're definitely moving back toward lockdown here in New York City. Um, and which, you know, is, is, pro is needed but also it's going to be a, a tough winter, <laughs> a tough winter. Everyone wear your mask. Everyone wear your mask. Um, cause they closed. Now it's just down to virtual learning. They closed the schools today. Um, and I'm assuming, I don't know. We don't know, but I just, we feel like it's moving back toward like restaurants are going to close and all that stuff. So,
I feel so sorry for the children not able to attend school. I feel sorry for their parents who have to be home with them all the time. <laughs> also, I, I like hated school, so I don't know how I feel about that, but. I mean, I did well in school because I was, you know, a good girl, but I didn't like it. Can you guys hear the piano lesson going on next door? Just constant. Just the piano is right up against our walls that are made of paper mache. We literally live um, in between cardboard walls. So it's really a pleasure to just hear that day and night. I wanna tell you guys, okay, did are we finished with this? Let's take a look. I think that's good. I think it's good. Yes, yes. I'm gonna zoom a little bit more here. Um, next I'm going in with the Pretty Fresh ColourPop Hyaluronic Concealer. So we've been having some mouse issues as I've shared with you over the last six months. It didn't used to be a problem, but it is now. And um, we also got a new super who's changing our lives. Like he's amazing. The other supers were trash. And he's come over and like patched up every hole. He's gotten down on his hands and knees. He's committed, okay? Oh, Jennifer C. Happy Thursday, Kate. Happy birthday, Randy. I think we are heading to at least a partial lockdown in Montreal. Thank you for the super chat, Jennifer C. Thank you. Um, so anyway, the super came over and he was like, first of all, he sounds like Max Casella. Does anyone know who that is? Doogie Howser, Newsies, famous character actor. He literally sounds like him. Ed Wood. Ed Wood, obsessed, obsessed. Also, who has that accent anymore? It's such an old school, like, I'm selling papes accent. Anyway, he has it. So he's like, I, I don't see any holes left. So if you're seeing a mouse, what's what I, he's like, what, what I think is happening is there's probably a mouse and he's trapped. Like he has nowhere to get out. He has nowhere to go. So he's just, you're seeing the same mouse. I went to the sink, get ready, get ready. I went to the sink the other morning. This has never happened. I ran the water to make coffee and a mouse jumped out at me, jumped out at me and hit me. Like, yes, I, it was horrific. And then like felt like plopped on the floor and like rolled around and then ran away. I was so upset. I was so upset. We're not talking about rats here, okay? We're talking about mice. I, I love it when I tell these stories and like I've had people be like, so is it a rat or a mouse? Do you think we'd be here if I just had, we just had rats? running around like just hopping out of the sink <laughs> there's a big difference between a rat and a mouse let's let's get down to brass tacks that's those are two different things i was very upset i texted the super he came over he this is what he said he said i think it's one mouse he's trapped so you're gonna have to put down glue traps now hold on before you get upset just hold on <sighs> So I, I saw him running behind the Christmas tree and I saw him run behind the bed and I put down, oh, Sarah Kleinsmith is here. I put down glue traps. Randy came home from work and sure enough, we heard a little tittering and the mouse, I put the glue trap in the right place because the mouse got stuck in the glue trap. Now again, calm down. For all the people out there who are upset, 
Actually, this wasn't my call. This was Randy's because he has to handle all this stuff. I can't handle it. So he went in and got the mouse and the, the glue trap. And he was like, Google how to get mice off of glue traps. So we did. He took the olive oil, went down to the street and rubbed the olive oil, the olive oil on the mice, the mouse's feet. Just like rubbed it in so the glue would come off and like nudged him off of the glue trap and he ran away. But I saw another mouse during my therapy session. I was like, oh, there's another one. Where the hell are they coming in? And then Randy said, what if it's the same one? Because they're smart. What if he came back? I don't think that's true. I think there's another mouse. But anyway, I'm over it. I'm way over it. Okay. Holly Howard. Oh my God, you guys are nicer than me. No, he's nicer than you. I'm not. I would have just been like, I don't know, like take it away. Just whatever. He, it was, <laughs> it was him. It was him. Um, yeah, Randy used to have pet rats. So he likes, he likes rodents. He has a soft spot for rodents. Um, okay. So now we're moving on to, this is, I'm excited to use this again because this is one of my favorite cream blushes and you guys know how many cream blushes I own. So I completely forgot about it. Um, Maggie Myers should get some live traps so you could release them elsewhere. The thing about it is we've tried everything at this point. And unfortunately, the most effective trap is a glue trap. It just is. But when you've got hoo-ha in the kitchen, massaging oil into mouse's feet it's okay they're not they're not cruel <laughs> but yeah okay so this is the uh flower beauty blush bomb color drops this is the shade bubbly So we're, this is a very like simple, fresh faced holiday look. Okay. It's going to be like a clean look. We're not doing like heavy glam. Yes. It's a bubble gum pink. Exactly. Courtney Rogers, my brother used to work in corporate pest control and he raised a baby possum in his loft apartment that he found in an office building. Wow. Wow. Oh, I missed Sherry Ford, Sherry Ford. Hold please. Sherry Ford said, pretty sure I was getting punked all day. I kicked a police officer. Yes, police officer out of my store for no mask. What the fuck? Out of my store, oh, sorry, I already read that. Out of my store for no mask had two old women screaming at each other about who got there first and a man yelling at me because I don't speak German and drink is what she said. Wow. Wow, Sherry. Cheers to you. I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you do it because I would just, I would murder everyone, honestly. I've told you I can't be in customer service. That's, that's... I don't need, I'm speechless. I'm speechless. <sighs> wow. That really made me angry. Thank you for the, she sent us $75 super, uh, Venmo. Thank you so much, Sherry. Okay. I'm going to go back in with this. This is, it's very subtle. Okay. This isn't the only blush we're going to use. Sherry Ford lives in Austin, Texas, right? Sherry? Yes, I'm correct. Ayana, why did they expect her to speak German? Ayana, I don't know if you know this, but people expect you to be whatever you want them to be. That's one of the main takeaways from being on YouTube. Why didn't you just tailor this to me? Wait, oh wait. 
Oh, oh, I thought this channel was like literally tailored to me. Oh my God, mind blown. I had no idea. I just assumed, <laughs> I just assumed. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. Okay. I'm gonna put stuff away as I go because I enjoy when I, I enjoy it so much more when I do that. Okay, next we're gonna move on to powder. Sarah Kleinsmith said, Clarissa, I'm from San Antonio. We'd need to have a good job gang South Texas meetup after COVID. Ooh, yes. Vancouver. Oh my God. I thought you were Charlotte Tilbury. I mean, I am. I'm, I'm that too. Okay. So I'm going to, um, I, I'm, I'm so excited because so many of these things I haven't pulled out in quite some time. So this is my elf HD powder. I love this powder. It is in the shade luminance, which I linked at Target, which is one of the only places you can find the loose powder. Um, yeah. Hi, Amber R. So I think some people will be into this. I have to tell you, oh shit, I put too much, oh, I hate when I put too much powder. That's the thing about loose powder. It's a little precarious, a little precarious. Um, so the other day, so Randy has a friend who is trying to start her own home, home organization business, which is I think a perfect thing to start right now, reason being, we're all having, we're all faced with like what we have in our homes, right? We're having to live with it and really face our decisions. So she needed content. She's like, I'd love to come over and just get some before and after pictures. I do it for free, which I paid her. But anyway, um, she's very sweet and thoughtful. And she came over, she's like, I'll, I'll organize anything. So... I, before she came over, I wanted to do my own decluttering so she didn't, you know, have to deal with that. And then I just left her to her own devices. Guys, I decluttered for four hours. I took out seven trash bags worth of stuff. Like I'm talking about stuff was in my closet that I've needed to get rid of for like eight years. I had like a random box of just product that's surely been there for around that period of time. Just some like oil of Olay under eye cream and just some Q-tip. Like, what was I even doing? Like, why would I have saved that? So anyway, I threw out so much stuff. She came over, she organized all of our drawers and our closet, refolded everything. I feel like a new person. It's absolutely incredible. And it didn't even take that long. I've been putting it off for years and it just, Clarissa fell. I thought your apartment was only 750 square feet. Girl, I wish my apartment was 750 square feet. <laughs> Shit. My apartment is 275 square feet. And if you think that you can't store a bunch of shit in that and like pack it away, you got another thing coming. You think people in small spaces don't have things they don't need? Trust me. You pack that shit wherever you can find space and then you forget about it for five years and then you're like, I don't have any space. Yes. So, and I still, and there's still, I still have stuff in here. So I must be organized. Eh, I don't know. Not really. I had to have someone come over here and do it for me. So no. <laughs> no, you know what? It's organized now. My makeup is organized. Randy has like a Blu-ray collection. It's super organized. But like, you know, when it comes to like clothes, I just, I have too many clothes. I have things I haven't worn in years. Like I just, I just got rid of it all. Joy, I would be claustrophobic. Okay. 
Guys, when you live in New York City, you don't have an option unless you have like a bazillion dollars and then you have options. But other than that, you know, people always say to me, I just don't know how you do it. How do you do that? I could never do that. Yes, you could. Yes, you could. If other things were important to you and you were in a city for a reason and that reason was being an actor and that's what brought you here, I guarantee you, you could live in an apartment uh, with an amazing location 275 square feet that you got at a recession special in 2009. I guarantee you, because it really comes down to New York City. What's shittier? Do I live like a hundred blocks up from where I work? Or do I live in a location that's amazing, but I sacrifice space? Like that's what it comes down to New York City. So I, I promise you, you, you could do it. You could do it. You, could, you can get used to anything, anything. Okay, moving on. This is, God, I can't believe I have not gotten through this. This is my, and also it's it's out of stock, so I'm so sorry. ColourPop, ColourPop, ColourPop. Will you please get things back in stock? My God, this has been out of stock for like a year and a half. This is the, just their, you know, precision brow pencil. It's like the only option I had as far as an affordable brow pencil. So here we are. Do I have rent control in New York City? Um, kind of. Our rent goes up like $20 a year. So it's, but it still goes up. That's not true. One year it went up $250. Don't get me started. We can't, we can't have this conversation right now. If you get me going about my fucking landlords, I will catapult myself over my fire escape. <laughs> All right, what are people saying? Emily Boynton, small home equals creative simplicity. Yeah, you just end up getting rid of, you're just like, well, we can't keep this. Like, this has to go. Like, there's no other option. We just can't keep it. Um... Amber R, we went through our garage. I found taxes we filed in 2001. Whoa, it was insane. My neighbors probably thought we were doing corp espionage based on how many recycle bins of shredded paper we took out. Wow, that's that must have been a real sight. I bet they thought you were criminals. Um, Cheryl, we moved a family of five into an RV. You can get used to anything. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ashley A, I lived in Williamsburg in 2009. First stop on the L. Wait. Ashley, I forgot that you lived in New York. Wait a second. I forgot. Okay, my mind has been blown. Williamsburg, Brooklyn. First stop on the L, Bedford Avenue. It was $2,000 for 500 square feet. Guys, I'll tell you what. Williamsburg is super hip and super expensive. Now, I would love to live in Williamsburg. And listen, we just might get the chance if the rents keep going down, but then we have to move. Really hate moving, so yeah. Williamsburg is honestly one of my favorite places in New York City. I love it. Amanda, I am bartending and listening to the live in one earbud dedication. Oh my God. That just for some reason made my night. <laughs> that, that means you really want to listen. Thank you so much, Amanda. Um, Ashley A, back then there was no Whole Foods in Williamsburg. It was the early days of being hipster. Yeah. Well, it's gotten very bougie in Williamsburg very bougie but like hipster bougie you know you're bougie but you look homeless but in like a chic way i mean i'm kind of into it i'm not gonna lie better off red is here oh my god guys 
Guys, 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 guys. Have you seen Better Off Reds? She doesn't need my help on this video. She doesn't need my help. I mean, really ever. But I have to point out, she did a Melt Cosmetics Beetlejuice, that whole collection. She did a video that just came out yesterday. It is phenomenal. She has clips from the actual movie. She unboxes it. She demos it. You have to see it. It's so, so, so fun. She told me there was someone on YouTube who did all of that, like did a video. I, I don't know their name. So I, I mean, even if I did, I, I guess I wouldn't name them. But she said they literally had never seen the movie. And it filled me with honest to God rage where I was like, how dare you? You don't get to review that collection. But you don't though. Like you don't even know what it's based on. Like this person thought that the sandworm was a snake. No, no, no Xennial Generation Z, no. I get it so confused. Xennial? Wait, are we Xennials? We're Xennials. I'm sorry. Whatever. Wh whatever they are. No. And Glitter Fallout did a video too. Yes, I'm sorry. Better Off Red is pointing that out too. Glitter Fallout did a video on the Melt Collection. She gets so detailed about the price per gram and all that jazz. So definitely check that out as well. Um, oh. Anastasia Harrison, that's Annette. She's from Finland. Well, Anastasia, that's not a good reason. People in Finland can access Beetlejuice. <laughs> Listen, if you're going to talk about a collection that's literally based off of an entire iconic movie, you have to watch the movie first. Yagatsta. Yeah, no, we are millennials, but millennials fall under Xennial, right? Yeah, it's it's basically like the overlap between um, Millennial and Gen X. Okay. It's, I think it's Xennial spelled with an X at the beginning. Okay, got it. This is this is a, a point of confusion for a lot of people. We are millennials, but there's like there's an overlap with that. Okay. Um Okay. I think my brows are done. Yes. I've decided they are. We're early millennials. Elder we're like, millennials. I'm sorry. Elder millennials. I'm sorry. We're elder. Right. We're elder millennials. We're th we're. He's 38. I'm 37. That means we're the we're the best kind of millennials. Don't tell everyone else because we still know what it's like to not have the technology that we have now. We didn't have like cell phones at school or like we didn't grow up with that. You know what I mean? Um, Jovi's mom is an elder millennial. There you go. I mean, we just are better. Like it just, it's just a fact. So, um, anyway, moving on to eyes. Eyes. So we're going to keep it simple. And... I'm gonna use, I'm gonna pull out my uh, ColourPop Going Coconuts palette. This is, I feel like you can use this for anything at any time. It's just one of the best palettes ColourPop has. Megan Hurt, the eyes are the nipples of the face. Yes, thank you. I've never heard that before. That really caught my eye. Um, okay, so first I'm going to go in with Shredded right here. I cleaned all my brushes because I thought I was going to have the Robbie to Christy palette, but I don't. It's fine. Okay. Oh, I should have put on some, well, hold on. Damn it. Let me find my Urban Decay primer, eyeshadow primer potion. Oh, here it is. Okay, let's put that on first. I 
Adelaide's mom is here. Hi. Ryan K, my grandma used to beat me over the head about her generation being the greatest generation. Wait, what generation was that? That's, she's, was really out to lunch. That can't be even close to being true. I said for certain people, I said for certain people it was, she didn't, I said for certain, oh, for certain people it was. Well, I think that was very diplomatic of you. <laughs> she didn't like that. That's the thing I don't get. When people, like when I diss, you know, whatever, boomers, uh, Generation Z, people are like, so offended. Like literally people get up in arms about it. I'm like, do you understand that we're millennials? Like I make fun of us all the time. Like we'll never live shit down. Just accept the things that are shitty about like the general things that are shitty about your generation and like just move on. It's okay. It's okay. Also, here's a good point. When people are like, okay, boomer, just because you're the boomer generation doesn't mean you have to have a boomer mentality, but it really has become like a very specific mentality. They're two different things. You can be a boomer and not be, not fall in the category of, okay, boomer, you can. I know a lot of Gen Xers that are boomer as fuck. He says he knows a lot of Gen X or who, is boom, who are boomers as fuck. See, there you go. Ryan K, W or World War II veterans generation. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, that's, I mean, thank you for your service, but how can you proclaim you're the best generation? <laughs> I can't imagine proclaiming our generation is the best. Like, I, I don't know what, I'd have to have a brain transplant or something. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna go in with culotta. <laughs> Boomer is a state of mind, Amanda said. Yes, thank you, exactly. Well, there's so many, so many comments that I have no idea what's happening. Whoa, whoa. Um, Jessica, Kate, could you please do a video on acting? Could you suggest interesting monologues for women and vocal warmups? I'm interested in acting. Okay. First of all, thank you for the comment, Jessica. Um, and I just want to say best of luck to you. Like I'm not, I'm not trying to be glib at all. Like truly that's my training. I will never do that. <laughs> I would rather stick hot needles directly into my cornea than do a video about that. But thank you for the suggestion. There are many, many people who are good at it and you should definitely check those people out. Um, better off red. No, really, I'm not trying to shade. I'm just, I'm not, I can't do that. But you can always ask. And they'll either say yes or completely shoot it down. <laughs> like I just did. No, because here's the thing. I don't have good, like, I'm not a good teacher. Everyone is like, not everyone, but many people over the years have been like, you should teach voice lessons. You should teach acting. No, no, because teaching is a skill. It's a very, very specific skill that I have a lot of respect for. And while I think I could hone that skill, I don't want to. And also, I feel like I would literally just sit there and be like, <laughs> I don't know, just, I don't know, do it again, and but do it better. Like, I don't I know, how, I, I don't know how or why, just like make it, make it better. Okay, bye, thanks. <laughs> I love the craft but I don't, teaching is not, no. That's a, that's a no for me, dog. Oh, I missed a GJG member. Hillary, welcome. Thank you, girl. Amber R, what's that saying? Those things that, those things that can do don't 
teach. What? Wait, I know the saying, but, um, what's the saying? Those that can't do teach, that's what it is. And I, yeah. Yeah, that's it. But, but I also don't, I don't agree with that either. Because I think there are absolutely people who are incredible at their craft, but they also want security and they, and they're, they're teachers. So I, I don't really believe that either. What I'm telling you is that I'm lazy. <laughs> and I don't want to teach anyone. Teachers are amazing. And I am not dogging on teachers. Not even 0.01%. Is that a percent? I don't know. See, shouldn't teach. Okay, what else do I want to use in that palette? Not, not much more because honestly, the star of the show is going to be the super shock shadow. I just wanted to just get a little bit of something on my lids. Hi, Jenny with a Y. Sorry, I'm just reading all the comments. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Ryan K, I teach the same class all day and I'm back home and Ron is like, oh my God, you've said that already. I'm like, I say it six times in a row, dear. Oh yeah, I bet. I bet. Lots of patience if you're a teacher. Lots of patience. Okay. I guess I'm gonna go in with Shell Yeah, and then we're gonna call it a day and we're gonna move on to the Super Shock. I also, I have to be honest with you, I have like two monologues in my arsenal and I've used them for literally like 20 years. I mean, no one, the same people don't see it again. It's like, well, why would I take time to memorize something new? I'm really good at this. I've known this for 20 years. <laughs> so if I were to make a, a video about monologues, it would be real short. Again, what did I say? I said lazy. Ashley A, now I'm morbidly curious about which two monologues. One of them is an, a monologue by Alan Ball, who wrote Six Feet Under. It's from um, a show called Six Women Wearing the Same Dress. God, it's been so long since I've even said that title. I hope I said it right. Um, it's about a bunch of bridesmaids. And it's like comedic slash dramatic the best kind of monologue there is because you cover all the bases. And then um, I love the importance of being earnest more than I can possibly say. So I do a monologue from the importance of being earnest. And that's it. <laughs> also, when you're in musical theater, no one asks you to do a monologue. They don't give a shit. They're like, can you just hit this note? How do you sound? Okay, thank you, bye. We literally don't care. We don't give a shit if you can act. Oh, what am I using? So this is kind of not important because this isn't available anymore. I got this in a boxy charm, but oh no, the, oh yeah, the, I forgot the super shock shadow. Sorry, shit. Sorry. <laughs> it's literally the star of the show, and I just moved on without it. What do you think? Am I on top of it or what? This is called Ritz. Look how pretty that is. Cecily's monologue. Yes, one of Cecily's monologues. Exactly. Exactly. 
Look how pretty. Guys, I'm telling you what, the sparkle on Super Shine, it's like, a, I refer to it as a glimmer veil. Because it sticks, it, there's, there's like little to no fallout. And because this feels like a wet shadow, when you apply it with your finger, it just sticks right on there. Wait, what did Ryan K say about theater kids? Theater kids are the worst. <laughs> Ryan K, you are the bitchiest, sassiest teacher I ever did know, and I'm here for it, like 100%. They are, <laughs> wait, they are always doing their choreography in their chair with their hands and arms humming and singing. They are a type. Always good kids, though. Oh, that sounds awful. I definitely was not like that. But I was also like a very strange combination of overly shy, but I just gravitated toward theater and singing. I mean, most theater people are just, no, that's a no. Not all, I said most, <laughs> most. Okay. So now we're going to blend, blend it out. Joe Mayhem. They're all out of touch. Theater people? Um, if that's what you're talking about. Definitely not all. A lot are out of touch, yes. Okay. Now I'm going to take a clean brush. And I'm just gonna, wait, maybe not that one. That feels a little wet still. Just gonna blend it out. Really just up to the raw bone, cause like, again, lazy. Oh, the Royals, I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought you're talking, Royal Cedar people, the Royal Cedar people, interchangeable. <laughs> I'm sorry. People are talking about the crown and I'm over here still hanging on to theater kids. Misunderstood. So sorry. Okay, I'm obsessed. I just, I think Super Shock Shadows, you cannot go wrong. Shoot, did I list this? Let me see. If I didn't, I'm gonna slap myself. Okay, good, I did. Is it in stock? Let me check. <sighs> My internet is taking so long. Oh good, it is in stock. Okay, this is one of my favorite. I think Better Off Red might have this too. This is one of my favorite um, super shock shadows. Yeah. So, so pretty. Something's in stock. Thank God. Color pop. Um, I don't watch the crown. I know I need to, I know I need to. Um, okay. What are we moving on to? We're moving on to that eyeliner again this boring ass eyeliner. Jen, Kate, are you Norwegian or German? Your bone structure is to die for. Oh, that's nice. I don't, I don't feel that way, but thank you. Um, I am Norwegian. Yes. If you guys are into the Royals, I've talked about this podcast before and I'm never going to stop talking about it. It's called you're wrong about and who just brought it up. Sab pack zad the podcast you're wrong about has five episodes on princess diana i highly recommend it i feel like an actual 
semi-expert on Princess Diana. I have to say, I know this liner is like really boring, but also I love a liner that you can sharpen. It just, I just do, I just do. Sometimes you, K-Bella Beauty, sometimes you need a boring eyeliner. Listen, I'm all about it. I also can do like a tiny, a teeny tiny little boop, just like a little cat eye. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Dval52 says you checked out You're Wrong About and she loves it. I'm so glad. I wish I could weigh in on the crown, but I can't. But I am watching The Undoing. Is anyone watching it on HBO? If you are watching The Undoing, I might have mentioned this before. A lot of it is filmed in our area. And sorry, I have like a crick in my neck. Um, the opening scene, okay, K Bella Beauty is watching it. The opening scene with the little kid, I mean, it all revolves around a crime. It's a murder. I'm not giving anything away when I say that. Um, the opening scene with the little kid walking down a sidewalk toward where his mother, where, where the crime takes place. That is literally 119th and Lennox. That is so, so near us. Um, L'Encanto de Lola 2 is one of our favorite Mexican restaurants and he's walking past it. And that's also the shot that Nicole Kidman, she walks that sidewalk all the time. Because again, that's like w within a block radius is where that crime takes place. So I think that the barber shop that the crime takes place is, I found it yesterday. And I think they just like made up a storefront, but it's just like a random storefront that um, is for sale. But they put like a barber shop storefront over it. Anyway. Side note, whenever you see that Mexican restaurant and Nicole Kidman like in a trance walking in her like rainbow dress, that's right near where I live. You guys, it's such a good show. Donald Sutherland. Oh my God. He's giving the performance of a lifetime, honestly. It's bone chilling. those are pretty even all right okay next we're gonna move on to Lurches I'm pulling out my favorite my current favorite drugstore um, mascara this is the Milani highly rated I've talked about it below uh, I talked about it before I, I think I did a favorites video where I included it. Um, burn the midnight candle. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Guys, can I just tell you when people announce their departure, I am just like, you are the most obnoxious son of a bitch I've ever <laughs> seen. You just have to like, how obnoxious is that? You have to be like, um, just so you know, I'm here, but I'm definitely leaving. So just, I don't know if you like were worried, but I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I said I'm leaving. Guys, I'm leaving. Are you upset? I'm leaving. I'm unsubscribing. I'm leaving. Are you sad? I'm going to leave just now in a second. I'm going to go. Is that okay? Wait, I'm not, I'm not gone yet. I'm going to, I'm going to go now. <laughs> Bye. 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 Hey, bye. 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 
Bye. All right, curling my eyelashes. We're getting to my favorite part. Ryan K, you live for this shit. Shut up. All right. Let me really zoom in here. So you can layer the hell out of this. This is gonna take about 20 minutes to get ready. <laughs> Hi, Pam Jordan. So this whole look is again, like a clean, like sparkly eye, but like a very easy, clean holiday look. Oh, my dad is here. Hi, dad. Thanks for the super chat. Um, what, what was I saying? Oh, the clean holiday look. So we're not probably not, I mean, none of us are really going any, anywhere for the holidays, let's be honest. <laughs> but <laughs> if you were, just do it for yourself. Just do it for yourself. Shoot, shoot. I'm gonna go back into the top again, cause why the hell not? Why the hell not? Okay. <laughs> I say okay, and yet I'm still not done. I'm still not done. Next eye. Allie Dupes. Kate, have you been watching the Tati Sue Mageddon stuff? I don't even know what that means. So no, I definitely have not. I definitely have not. You guys, I'm so bad with drama. I, I don't, I mean, unless, honestly, unless someone I know, like if I'm on a, you know, a Marco Polo with like Sarah and Michelle and they bring up some, which very rarely happens. But if someone else brings it up, then I'll look into it. But other than that, I don't, I don't know what's happening. Okay. Let me zoom in. Someone asked me earlier, like how I decide or how I figured out what, which color pop shade I was in the foundation. 
I don't have a good answer for that. I mean, you just do your best, right? I just go with what my undertone is and then just pray for the best. And usually it works out. Or if it doesn't work out like perfectly, then I can always mix it with something else, you know, because I have like a million foundations. Jenny with a Y, how'd Kate get that liner so perfect? That is sorcery. Let me tell you, it's a generic ass black pencil that I can sharpen. And it's my favorite thing. That's my favorite thing. I just wish, I love the Fenty fly pencils, but I wish I could sharpen them. That's the only thing I wish about those. Other than that, I love them. Because I feel like you can get that like liquid liner like baby cat eye look without using liquid liner which who who doesn't want that because liquid liner is just a bitch cheryl mcneil kate do you dislike false lashes fake lashes i do i don't necessarily dislike them always on other people i think they can look really fun i just hate them on me i i think that they're i they bother my eyes a lot of them look unnatural um the glue pulls my lashes out which i mean i just feel like i can achieve um what do i what i need to achieve with my lashes without going through all that because that's just really a lot it's really a lot Jenny with a Y. Liquid liner is a stone cold bitch. Yeah, for sure. Okay. I swear we're almost done. We're done with the lashes. I told you guys this look is very, it's very simple. First, I'm gonna moisturize my lips. Hi, Lori Abercrombie. Okay. Next, we're moving on to what are we moving on to? That's a great question. Ooh, lipstick, lipstick first. Okay, this I have never used on camera. Um, I think I got this because Mel Thompson a couple years ago did a, a video on the, the exhibitionist cream lipsticks from CoverGirl and I got a few of them and I really like them and then I just never use them. But now I'm gonna use it because it's drugstore and it's festive and it's red and that's what we're doing. Ryan, shut up. No one wants to hear from you. Just kidding. This is in the shade hot. You can't wear this under a mask, okay? This is just, you're at home living your best life with some luscious lips because this will, it's cream lipstick. So, sorry. <laughs> sorry, but. I think these are $6 a piece, five or $6 a piece. And they're really nice. They're really, really nice. Better off red, I swear by a red lip. I have to even out the, the lips. Love it, love it. 
I'm just gonna blot old-fashioned style gotta do that and then I saved the blush and the highlight for last because I wanted to just see is that how I normally do it I can't even remember what order I do things in <laughs> um okay so now I'm gonna go this is sent to me by Autumn Kinsey this is the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Petal Primavera. The Chicks, thank you for doing Drugstore. Girl, you're welcome! Such a pretty, like, pinky nude shade. Bye, K Bella Beauty. Thank you. This is also a very subtle blush. I feel like I could just layer, I'm not gonna layer too many more times, but. It's kind of like a no fail situation. Okay. Yeah, it's just like a simple fridge holiday Luke. And then last but certainly not least, we're going to do my favorite drugstore highlighter. And I, I might venture, I'm going to venture to say this is one of my favorite highlighters, period, not just drugstore. It is so, so gorgeous. It is the Wet n Wild's Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Blossom Glow. It has, it's, it's a, it's pinky. Um, and I'm going to pull out my BK Beauty highlighting brush. Oh, it's always just so perfect. It's like more perfect than higher end highlighters a lot of the time. I don't understand. Oh, sorry. Boop. Sorry, guys. And then I also just like to like, I mean, I don't need to do this, but I like to tie it in with the brow bone, especially when it's an eyeshadow look that we just blended all that shit together. Okay guys, I forgot to put some facial mist in the description box, but I do think this is affordable. This is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And yeah, this is the finished look. This is it. This is my favorite kind of look, okay? I'm a basic bitch. I like just like a pop of color. Um, this isn't a totally clean eye, but it's like close. Like it's a clean eye with a little bit of glitter. You know what I mean? Um, nothing too crazy going on. It's all about the lashes. It's all about the red lip. It's all about that highlight though. What was that? I meant to go, that's what I meant to do. And, mm. okay guys, this was fun. I don't, <laughs> I don't do drugstore affordable makeup a lot because most of the affordable makeup I have is ColourPop. So I could just end up doing, <laughs> 
<laughs> Ryan K., you look like Mrs. Claus's beautiful daughter. Thank you. Uh, that's nice. I'll take Mrs. Claus as beautiful. I mean, I think. Um, anyway, the next, I'm hoping that I get my Rob E.D. Christie by Monday. If not, I'll get it by a week from today. It's coming up soon. Um, thank you guys again for joining me. My new dates are going to be Monday and Thursday. Um, what else do I want to say? Before you leave, if you could give this a thumbs up. And please, if you're loving my content, I would so appreciate, I know a lot of you guys already have, I know you have, but like, if you could share it with people you think that would also love it, I love the community we have here and I want to keep building on it with fabulous people just like yourself. Um, no, but really, I would love it if you could share my content. It really, really does help. And what is today? Today's Thursday. I'll be putting out my video on Sunday. So keep your eyes peeled for that. And I'll see you guys. Wait, I didn't cheers anything. Wow, we always come to this point, don't we? What do I cheers? I think. You know, I have to say, well, it's this highlighter. I think we gotta cheers the highlighter because for a drugstore highlighter, it's just incredible. So, oh. Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder and Blossom Glow. Good job. Mm. Okay, guys. Cheers till next time. Mwah.